So the sample size is 35. The sample mean is 105. The population mean is 100. You might recall that I said that in IQ testing, usually the test developers create their normative database such that the mean is 100. And now the population standard deviation is 15, which is what typically uh, normative sample database IQ test users uh, specify the standard deviation to be. So population values, 100 for the uh, mean or the mu, more accurately, and a standard deviation or sigma of 15. Sample size of 35, and a sample that I've calculated on my own data, 105. And the hypothesis is whether this 105 is larger than 100, or statistically significantly different from the 100. All right, so once you've got this uh, syntax pasted into SPSS Syntax Editor, and uh, you've specified your four values, sample size, sample mean, population mean, population standard deviation, you just have to click on Run, Run All. And SPSS will produce a, some text which uh, includes the Z statistic, which in this case is equal to 1.97203. So the values are outputted to five decimal places. Typically, you'd only report that to two. And here's the P value. Is the Z value larger than the null hypothesis Z statistic? And the P value is telling me that with a with an alpha of 0 0.05, which we're trying to get less than, uh, it's statistically significant because the p-value is p equal 0 0.04861. And this is lower than 0 0.05. Therefore, I've rejected the null hypothesis that the sample mean is equal to the population mean. Had this p-value been greater than 0 0.05, I wouldn't have been able to reject the null hypothesis. So what this is telling me is that my sample is taken from a different population than the normative sample population. It's actually statistically significantly different. 105 is statistically significantly different from 100. Now here's Cohen's D. I've only added this as an extra. Uh, people first learning how to do a one sample Z test probably wouldn't understand what a Cohen's D value is. But for those who do, I'll just mention that this is an estimate of effect size. And this is telling me that uh, the sample is the sample mean is 33.3 standard deviation larger than the population mean. So that's a bit of extra information. You should always, in my opinion, calculate an estimate of effect size with a statistic. And in a one sample Z test, uh, I think it would, Cohen's D would be the most appropriate effect size. But for those who don't understand what Cohen's D is yet, the main pieces of information are the Z statistic and the p-value which has rejected the null hypothesis in this case. So this is how you can perform a Z one sample Z test in SPSS. Just use the syntax and specify the four values in this part of the, uh, in this command line. Uh, thanks for watching How To Stats, uh, and I'll catch you next time.